TNTM The Show presents Talking Nerdy, February 2024 edition, with your hosts, Pablo Gunner and The Ambassador. And we are here to talk nerdy to you, because for March we have so much stuff coming out for March. It is crazy. So I'm going to go over the nerdy stuff that's coming out in March, movies, shows, games, anime. It's hard to keep up with because they release their stuff weird. They don't, I don't know, it's, it's really hard to find. So, but I have Dune on the first. That's part two in the theaters. We have Dragon Quest, The Adventure of Die, which has actually came out 2020, but it's on Netflix, new on Netflix. Same thing with Godzilla. It's a 2014 movie, but it's new on Netflix. So it's going to be good to get prepared for the stuff that's coming out. We have My Little Pony, Tell Your Tale Season 2 on Netflix. Uh, we'll probably be checking that out with the girls. So maybe I'll do a review on that. On the 4th, we have Hot Wheels Let's Race Season 1 on Netflix. Maybe I'll check it out. I don't know. I'll give it at least a, a try. Then on the 5th, there's the Outlast Trials, which I think those are like the horror games that are really terrifying. Like they're supposed to be like the, some of the most terrifying horror games of all time. And they are out on PC, PS4, 5, Xbox, all the Xbox. Uh, then we have WWE 2K24. Same PC, all, all the stuff, uh, obviously not on Nintendo. On the 6th, we have Extraordinary Season 2 on Hulu, which is like a powers-based type show, which is pretty sounds pretty interesting. On the 7th, we have Pokemon Horizons, the series, Season 1 on Netflix. That's brand new. As Dusk Falls, and that's on PS4 and 5. We On the 8th, we, there's Kung Fu Panda, which is in theaters. And then there's Unicorn Overlord on PC, PS4, 5, Xbox. And then on the 14th, Invincible Season 2 Part 2 on Amazon Prime Video. That's going to be awesome. On the 19th, Lightyear Frontier, PC, Xbox Series. I thought that would be like, maybe it's Buzz Lightyear. I don't think it actually is. And then we have, oh my god, I can't wait for this. On the 20th, X-Men 97 for Disney+. Plus. Uh, I can't wait. I, that is probably single-handedly like my most anticipated thing of anything to come out ever because it's like the continuation. I really hope they go deep into the comics and continue. Like I hope they get like to even to the stuff that they've done with like kind of Cyclops going the Magneto way sort of. Like I don't, I don't, I don't think they'll do that anytime soon. But we'll see if they eventually get there, depending on the popularity of the show. But I, I can't wait just to see what they have to deliver. I think it looks phenomenal so far. Then there's also Alone in the Dark, PC, PS5, Xbox. And then on the 21st, I don't know if this is nerdy necessarily, but as an 80s kid, I love the original and I'm going to watch this one. And I'm really watching it to kind of hate it, which is going to be on Amazon Prime. It's Roadhouse. It's Jake Gyllenhaal. I think he's a phenomenal actor. It looks interesting, but I really feel like, why are you making movies that are like gold? Like, make... Remake movies that are garbage and make them better. Like, yeah. why do they keep doing this? But we'll see. We'll see how good it is. Next, on the 22nd, is Dragon's Dogma 2, as we mentioned. Uh, PC, PS5, Xbox. And then there's Princess Peach Showtime on Nintendo. I might get this. I, I want to check it out because I have girls. And they might be really into it. Even my wife likes playing Nintendo stuff. We So we might check it out. My family and I might check it out. So... We'll see. It looks it looks cute. It looks fun, which might be exactly what you want for girls, you know? Yeah. Or just mini games and stuff. So then there's Rise of Ronin, PS5. On the 26th, that is South Park Snow Day, which is a game on PC, PS5, Nintendo Switch, and Xbox. Then you have Prison Architect 2, PC, PlayStation 5, Xbox. Who's making these get prison architect? Like what what is this? Like why who's who's coming up with these like, we're going to make architect prisons? Like I guess if you're trying to make kids want to build, I don't know. Or like you work in the prison system, you're like I could make a better. I don't know. Like who is this for? I just don't know. I guess the same people that want to make Planet Zoo? I don't know, yeah. which also comes out on PS5 and Xbox the the same day. Then on the 27th, there's Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning on Paramount+. Plus. On the 28th, there's Open Roads PC, PS4, 5, Nintendo Switch, Xbox on the 29th. 
Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire in theaters. I haven't even seen the trailer because I really don't want to spoil it for me, but I feel like I need to at least watch the first trailer to be like, what is this movie you gotta, about? The sneak, the teaser is what you watch because okay. anything past teasers are usually... It's too much. Too They're much. getting too ridiculous with these trailers. Like, I just want... I died. That's all I want is a teaser. Like, that's all I want. The, the previous movie was good enough to get me to want to go see it. It wasn't the greatest, but it was not bad. It's not... You, you can't compete with the original. Yeah. It, it was one of those where uh, I would have just left it on its own. Yeah. No reason to remake something that's a masterpiece. So, and then there's Godzilla X-Kong, which is funny because it reminds me of, like, Sonic X Shadow, you know? It's like, they're not enemies in this. They're going to be working together, kind of, maybe? It's The New Empire, which to me is also hilarious because Frozen Empire and New Empire, like, really? Yeah. And it's the same It's the same day? It's the same weekend? Like, <laughs> you're going to be competing against each other with the same the, those titles? I would be surprised if people accidentally go see the wrong movies. You know, like, just because of both having Empire both on the same day. They both start with G, even. You know, like, <laughs> they're like, yeah, get, I'll take the movie that starts with the G and has Empire in it. They're like, uh. <laughs> so. Yeah, okay. We're going to listen to this one at 7 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, and then there's Paw Patrol, the Mighty Movie on Paramount Plus, which I thought is already on there. I thought it was actually new. It's I think it's actually supposed to be new on Netflix. It's moving to Netflix. Uh, Shogun is going to be every Tuesday on Hulu. So that's going to be out. I definitely want to check that out if I can. And then Bad Batch is continuing uh, every Wednesday on Disney+, Plus, which I've already watched the first three episodes. Love it. I'm like, this is what it's been building up to. You're giving me straight gold. I've loved it. I can't wait to do a video of it focusing on those episodes. But it's. I'm going to say right now, Definitely a must-see for those first three episodes if you're checking them out just by the clusters because the, the, the premieres three episodes right out right now. It's, like I said, strong must-see for me. And if you want to watch them by, by episodes and, and putting out three, loved it. So anyways, then Halo's coming out every Thursday for, for March as well on Paramount+, Plus, which we are unfortunately going to watch for our fellow nerds. Not for ourselves because I would stop watching it. If it was, yeah. I would stop watching it personally. I'm doing it for you. Yeah, like, <laughs> it reminds me of, like, trying to watch later seasons of Riverdale or The Flash. Yeah. Where you're just like, this is bad. Why am I watching this? Absolutely, absolutely, yes. Then, I want to talk about our merch. <gasps> My cabbages! You're gonna pay for this! Two cabbages, please. Which is Avatar focused. I have the Airbender one because I've always felt like I have connected with Airbenders. I've been told that, like, oh, hey, you're a cool, chill, mellow, go with the flow kind of dude, which is also kind of water, but not exactly. So, and I'd totally rock some head tattoos and just like live in a temple, you know, and ride a, uh, a bison. But yeah, so I love this. Uh, it's actually Slay J designed this superb and there's different versions there's you can do white lettering or black lettering this is the tank top version and we have all kinds of different versions there's ones with with like the all the symbols on the sleeve there's so it's there's top-notch stuff and it's so great and i was i'm so impressed with the designs that slay j came up with it he really killed it and uh, so definitely check it out because it's on sale now for this month which we don't have much for for the month of february so I don't know if we should keep it going. I feel I, like well, maybe we should keep it going. I think we should extend it to the you next know? month. The because it's, it's such a big deal. Like, it's so good. I need More people need to see this show. Yeah. And and even if you're not into the live action, you should still get it. Because pick whichever one. Because I know everybody has their different versions of which they are, like yours. But yeah, Fire Nation. How can you go wrong with Fire Nation? The Breath of Life. <laughs> you can't argue with the Breath of Life. Because that's, uh, if you watch the cartoon, when they go find the origins of firebending, because the Fire Nation has corrupted their way of doing firebending, so they don't actually use the true uh, origin of it, they use anger. Mm -hmm. And, well, they're very angry people, so it's effective. <laughs> but, 
Iroh doesn't use anger. He uses the real purpose of it, and that's why he's so powerful. Oh, he's so great. I love. Oh, I loved his parts in the show, like when he used yeah. his, his firebending. I was like, oh my god. Or, this or is the awesome. fact he developed like the whole blue lightning defect deflection thing. He's like, yeah, I learned this. I've seen waterbenders do this similarly, but I apply it to firebending. You just go like this, and then you just let it flow through and go out. Yeah. Yeah, crazy, dude. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I, my wife is definitely a firebender. I feel like I need to get her a firebender shirt because she is fire and fury, and she definitely uses her fire for... Not always. Not always for for anger and hate, but I feel like uh, maybe in aggression, but most of the time. Sometimes it's for love, you know, of the, of the children and the things she cares about, but yeah. And then I know that Slay J got... Did he get earth? Or no, he got water because he's like, he's all about the, the blood bending. He's, 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 he's like, yeah, I'm a blood bender. Like that's what he is. Maybe it should be like tainted with some red or something, you know? Uh, yeah. But yeah. I so. mean, you know, sub genres, the blood bending's cool, but I mean, what about lava bending? Yeah. And, lava, uh, lava metal bending, bending is <laughs> sick. Yeah. Metal is, is, is metal. Yeah. It's, it's hardcore for sure. I, I do, I love the ice, like, that's so cool, like, the ice, because I'm, like, especially, like, they use, like, and they can just freeze people in place and stuff, and, like, she uses, like, ice blades, oh, my gosh, Katara does, like, there's so much stuff that's just, like, so cool about uh, water bending and then, but I kind of feel like, I, I've told my wife, though, like, I do, maybe she is more Earth, but I don't, because Earth is really cool, too, and like I said, Earth was done so much better, I feel like, in the this live action show than even i think the the animated because they made it make sense they, they improved it they made it better we'll, we'll see depends on how so, tough is yeah we will see we will see tough because some of the characters i'm like i would not have gone with that person as like that person but whatever like some of them are better and some of them are not like yeah we'll see. zuko makes feelings so I, I like zuko he's pretty good but yeah Sokka's like perfect um yeah. i feel like a lot of them are like Aang, perfect. Iro, perfect. Like, there's some where just, like, could not be more perfect. You're, like, crazy. So, yeah. But, uh, but yeah. So, that's, so make sure you check it out because it's on sale with free shipping. Our merch of the month is. And anything that says Talk Nerdy to Me on it, that stuff is the cheapest. That stuff's usually, like, 15 bucks. And full price is, like, 30 bucks. But, yeah, we have, we have really great sales uh, for our merch of the month stuff. So definitely check all that stuff out because we have Halo stuff on there as well for this month. Pretty much anything that you could check out this month that's related, it's going to be on there. It's expect that. We're making merch for it. If it's nerdy, we're making merch for it. And that's what you have to expect for this month and for the February and for any month, even for March, right? So, but speaking of people, we're doing it for you. Do it there. They do stuff for us. We work together are the people that we have been uh, networking with. So I, I have to give a shout out with them. Always at the top of that list has to be Atticus because he's the king. You know, he's the, what is the Batman of, La, La, um, like how? I, I want to say, I'm probably saying it wrong. Definitely check out his stuff on YouTube. That's his main focus. That's what he focuses on. He's very interactive. He's very raw. He's very, shows you what life is like in Vietnam in a small town and everything. He he goes to big towns too like yeah. So you see it all and it's it's real legit stuff and there's also if you want to be an English teacher out there, he gives you yeah. some tips One and, of his and stuff last like videos that. videos was like this is how I do laundry out here. Yeah. So like just simple stuff to like it's it's great stuff. I I love his stuff. It's so good. Also networkers or Berna Kenshin she has great stuff on YouTube. Really, all of her content is, is gold. She does cosplay. She's hardcore Splatooner and anime uh, aficionado. I feel like I can say phenomenal stuff on there. Definitely check her out. Uh, the Superpower List. Check them out across the board, where it's Facebook, Twitter, wherever they're at. Check them out. They're really cool. I love the stuff that they post. They're pretty hardcore, deep into comics, nerds, for sure. And then we have... Riot TV is really cool. Check them out. They're, they're one of ours. Uh, Randy uh, S0725 on, on the tweets. 
Uh, they're really cool. Actually, that's the same guy that does a superpower list. So, yeah, that's theirs. Uh, Amerimay Media, they're super cool. They're really awesome. Check all their stuff out, too. Uh, Web Imagine Service does music. The Film Rage guys are so good. If, you, if you're hardcore into movies, they cover every single movie out there. Like, they rage about it because... They, they, they're doing it for the people because they watch all the bad, everything. They'll watch it. Whether it's good or bad, they watch it. They go through the pain like we're going through the pain of Halo. You know, they do it for the people. So, yeah. and it's funny stuff. They're funny and they're cool. MK Jekyll and Hyde, they do like a web comic and stuff, but they have great content across the board on all their social media. So definitely check them out. And then Filmmakers Pod, Cinematic, Anarchy, Pesky Gremlins, uh, Gmart 8, Billy D's. Po Boy Pod and Gone Cold Podcast. Those are also some other ones that are great to check out. So yeah, check them out because they're awesome. And uh, I think uh, I think that's it for this week or for this month actually for this yeah. month. So check out our stuff for for March, our our merch and all our content. Like I said, we're gonna be try to cover as much of the nerdy stuff as possible. So yeah, and uh, don't forget to. Uh... Like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that uh, are worth watching and a blast. So, stay nerdy, Planet Earth. And talk nerdy to me.